ehm, guardando il film e guardando poi i backstage che sono presenti nel, nel cofanetto ehm, ci rendiamo conto che la, è stata una produzione abbastanza complessa e ero curioso di sapere se ci sono degli aneddoti, qualcosa che ricorda in particolare di queste riprese così complicate magari. This is tell us a joke now? One thing, um, I was looking for a, a replicant, Nexus 6, a character that would have a very strong uh, size. I was really thinking of him as a hero, not on purpose. He, he becomes the hero in the end, which is very difficult for an audience to flip over to because they have they live with a story that is, they're led to live, they're led to believe that the hero is this whining, you know, old detective who keeps going, oh my God, oh my God, what happened, what? that he's the hero. But there's something that in the end, basically, Then things start to flip, and and the director asked me to to use anything I could to to make him more human. Than me. Um, okay. The one thing that I figured was uh, the microphone. The microphone. <laughs> the microphone. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. The whole building needs to hear this. I think that I think I should tell you about the stunt and the dove. Yeah. So the whole ending of the film is like a naked end game in many ways. Between the two enemies. But it's a dance and it's a game. And I asked Ridley if I could in this game this chase, if I could take a dove. Because this Nexus 6 that I'm, Roy likes uh, animals, he likes them, and he likes toys, and they're all toys anyway, so instead of a snake, he likes to take the dove. But of course, my thought was, if I, if I die quickly, I let the dove go, the dove will do what doves do, you know, and fly away. So after shooting a day pretty much in the rain, uh, And especially the last section was a pretty, uh, pretty tough uh, day. And I had the dove in my um, right hand. I had the dove in my right hand. I had the nail in my left hand, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so I do my, you know, I do my, my little monologue, and then I go this, and then I let the, I go. Your cue. And the dove is lying on its back in my hand. And he's not moving. So I go, a little bit, okay? <laughs> okay. And the dove, the dove gets up on my hand and gets on my leg, gets on the floor, and walks off. <laughs> so I thought that was not great at acting, but it was pretty, you know good for a first time uh, dove in the film. And that's, so that's my joke. <laughs> Dunque, io eh, ero un replicante e naturalmente Ridley... <laughs> e Ridley um, mi disse che nonostante io fossi un replicante eh, voleva che io fossi più umano di un umano. Quindi abbiamo cercato di eh, trovare de degli scamotage, de delle modalità per le quali io potessi apparire un replicante con un cuore. E, ehm, beh, a Roy voi sapete piacciono i giochi, piace la danza, piacciono gli animali, in particolare 
è la storia della colomba. La colomba, e qui eh, l'aneddoto, è una delle ultime scene, avevamo girato tutto il giorno, pioveva, stanchi, avevo questa colomba in mano, nella mano destra, che a un certo punto alla fine della scena avrebbe, insomma, avrei dovuto lasciare andare, e eh, semplicemente la colomba durante, mentre proprio stavamo girando, ha deciso, bella bella, di saltare giù e andarsene, proprio con i piedini, si è messa a camminare eh, lontana da me. Questo è stato un aneddoto che ovviamente non nessuno ha visto, non avete visto, ma io ero, tenevo tantissimo al fatto che ci fosse questa colomba e quindi poi alla fine comunque ho ottenuto il mio piccolo riscatto, però lei se n'era prima andata. Yeah, I, I really, I was gambling on the dog that he would really do the, the crucial moments. And of course the irony is, this is a dove that is flying on batteries, at the same time he's the soul of something uh, that, that maybe doesn't even exist. I mean, it's nice. E qui c'era un po' tutto il gioco del io ero un replicante, andavo a batterie, allora magari anche la mia colomba andava a batterie, ma in realtà insomma l'animale non, non andava a batterie, quindi c'era c'è stato tutto questo, insomma, questo, questo gioco che poi si è trasformato in, in un aneddoto. Ok, funny enough, if you tell a joke in a different language, it doesn't always work. So I'll tell you the next one. Allora, siccome eh, non necessariamente mi rendo conto si ride, dopo eh, magari un, un aneddoto che suona bene in una lingua ma non in un'altra, prova a dirvene un secondo.